Oh, is this thing on? Yeah, hi! So I change the way I do things quite often. I usually see if there's something new or whatever uh, that's interesting and then I try it out and then if it works I stick with it and yeah, why not? So this happened again. TypeScript 4.9 came out and it has uh, one very interesting feature called uh, the satisfies keyword and that changed the way I write types. <gasps> And maybe you want to change too. So keep around. Let's check this out. But first a word from our sponsor. So here we are. TypeScript 4.9, the last release of TypeScript before the big 5.0, brings out the specifies operator. So the satisfies operator brings us a way to define that certain expression matches a type while still allowing TypeScript to infer what is the actual type. Docs are pretty nice and they're very clear about the kind of stuff it offers you and how it can help you get better narrowing of your types. But let's have a look in uh, some examples. So I'll pick this uh, similar example to what the, the, the docs has, but let's write something our own. So right now I just opened this new file with a few like type definitions. So I have the RGB tuple, takes red as a number, green as a number and blue as a number. And I have the RGB names types, that's a union type of red, green and blue. And then I build an object or a dictionary if you want, or a record uh, that has, uh, it's going to be either one of these values and it's either going to be a string because we can take an hexadecimal string or we can take a caller name string or a tuple. So Usually what you probably would do would assign um, an object to color and then you would define um, red being red, you define and then you would define red to be your thing or you would define uh, blue to be blue or green and it's red, green and blue. So, so now we have this object. What we're going to do is we are going to now use this and we got the autocomplete as you would expect from TypeScript. Great. And if I get green, for example, get values of arrays, even though we are uh, using a string. So with the satisfies operator, we're going to allow TypeScript to infer stuff so for example, what we would do is have this satisfied that's going to be the same object. And then we're going to say that it satisfies my color type. And now what we get is if I get the satisfied and I try to use red, I'll have again all my methods of an array or if I try to use green now, I get the methods of a string. So the difference is that satisfies is going to tell me, give the hint of what is the property in my... So what happens is that satisfies is going to allow me to define what is the type that my certain expression needs to satisfy. But meanwhile, it's also going to let my TypeScript server to try to do the inference. So what happens is that I get the best of both worlds. And in the same way, you still get everything else. So for example, it allows me to not have, it doesn't allow me to have something that doesn't match. So for example, I can get it. So it's not specified in color in the same way that I would in this other one. So I get everything that should be, um, that, that is allowed without having any kind of drawbacks or side effects. So what happens here is that whenever you're assigning something, the difference is that satisfy is going to tell us, okay, TypeScript, I believe this is the type, but you should still like do your own stuff. You should still infer the types and see if everything matches and it's fine. Meanwhile, assign is a way of us to tell TypeScript how to behave. We're essentially micromanaging TypeScript. And you know, like developers love micromanaging, right? No. no. So what we're doing with assign is saying, okay, TypeScript, this is the type of my stuff. And TypeScript is going to say, yeah, all right. And that's an assignment that it gets. So it's only going to complain if it goes completely off rails. So if I say something that is not defined in my assignment, TypeScript is going to say, oh, 
are you nuts? That doesn't, it's not in there. I'll give the assignment and if it matches the blueprint, it's not going to think twice. So for example, if I get here to um, post definition and I say, okay, so I want red, it's going to still tell me it's either a string or RGB. Meanwhile, it's, um, it's right here that is my HB, RGB tuple. Meanwhile, if I go to like satisfied, I can come here and I say red and it's going to very clear tell me that is the tuple. The same goes for like green, for example, it's going to very clearly say it's a string. So it gets you to a, a much better inference for you to work and to catch bugs and to know what the thing is going to be in runtime in the end. So that was it. This was a short one, but I hope it was satisfying. Until the next one.